forward to this opportunity. Their leading rusher is Mark Weishman. He's in the backfield. Rudock looks to the screen pass on the first play, and Cavante Martin Manley within the pocket trying to buy himself some time to deliver the football. On second down, here comes Weissman to the right and tripped up past the 30-yard line. You see the right guard rolling, and pulling out 65, and right there got rolled up on by his own teammate. Yeah. Right guard spot, and that is the case here as third and three belongs in Rudock's hands, and here comes the pressure. Terrific play by Bobby Richardson. He just gets off the block of Brandon Shear. Shear passes him inside, and nobody picks him up. The back goes right by him. And that first first down, they may want to take a shot downfield as they get closer to the 50-yard line. Yeah, that's the position that Greg Davis told us is ideal shot position. Roll in the pocket. Rudock with pressure coming, and he'll just throw it. Second and ten, deeper drop for Rudock, who pumps and now takes off. This second series for Rudock, so will he continue after this series? We were told he'll probably play the first two for sure. Rudock on third down, and a very tough catch for Tavon Smith. We've got the I formation with Kanziri, the deep back. They motion Damon Powell. And off play action, exactly what you were looking for, John. Didn't have it downfield, so Pleva makes the catch in the lane. Extended second drive after both teams went three and out to start their day. Damon Bullock is the back. Rudock fires close to the sticks, but it's going to be short as Tim Bennett makes with Pleva as the fullback. They'll give it to Weissman. Pleva threw that block, and Weissman with a second effort. Got nice second effort by Weissman. He does a good job of running into the back. Another way to skate and get the first down. It's always tough running in between the tackles, but good second and third effort there. On first down, back to Weissman with Pleva trying to extend it to the edge and throw a block. Works his way to the 15. Got a long Big Ten history. Rudock to throw. Checks it down over the middle for Bullock. And he's with four receivers out there for Iowa. Man to man to the bottom of the screen. That's Tavon Smith. Over the middle to the end zone, and Doozy has his second touchdown. Doozy, one of the better tight end catchers on this football team. There's multiple tight ends, but he's able to beat. Tells you like it is, and that's what you want from a head coach. And around, jet sweep to the edge. And another busted play in Jonathan Parker. They said he needed more touches, and he got Iowa answered back to make it 28-7 going into the second quarter. Indiana scored a touchdown early here in the second to get back within two scores and trying to get Iowa's offense off the field. Rudock steps up down the seam, and it's going to be a three and out. An injury now steps in for the first time today, and an option with Jonathan Parker as the pitch back. Bethard, the way he's played the last couple of games to play a series or two, get the right feel, get him in at the right spot in this game. Throwing the screen, but out of well in that game as well. Just a three-man rush on third and four. Got to find a window, and that throw was very low, looking for. They stick or move to Jake Rudock, and he comes right back in the game and fires a strike to Tavon Smith. Sharp then had a three and out two drives ago. Bethard came in, went three and out as well. So going back to Rudock. Weissman gets the carry and has a hole. And he has the first down as he works to the 21-yard line the tackle. in this first half. Weissman, strong running. Right to the 15 and right into... Kenny blocking for Weissman, who has a first down to the 10-yard line. Pushing Marching him right down the field to set up first and goal. Back to Weissman. He's very patient looking for a hole to develop. Quarters. He can pop a hole if he gets that crease. Here's 
Kanziri makes that one cut and got tripped up. He's got six of them. I just think you, you go play action here and try to find Jake Ducey. Rudock looking to the flat. Now looking to the end zone and looking for Hamilton, but it was too tall. Open field presence. Rudock looking for Martin Manley, and it is a penalty from the nine for Iowa. Came away with a field goal last time they were this deep. Rudock rolling the pocket, firing to the flat for Hillier, and he'll pick up about five. If you're going to win in the Big Ten now, today, and in the future, you have to punch this in. Weissman stacked up at the two. T.J. Simmons was the first man there. I don't know if they get the ball back, what they can do offensively right now. Third and goal, here's Weissman, and he got hit shy of the goal line. Especially if Nate Sudfeld cannot continue for Indiana in the second half. On fourth down, here's Weissman into the end zone to close the first half. Third for a drive, but that drive went three and out. Rudock on his drives accounted for the 38 points, or at least 31 offensively from Iowa. And he's productive for the Hawkeyes. Threw for 179 in the first half. Doozy catches it in the flat. You don't want to get in a position where you force the quarterback on the field. Plenty of time for Rudock. And that pass was batted down right in front of him by Nick. Pressure coming on Rudock, who fires down the seam. And, and Clark grabbed that right arm of Tavon Smith. Kanziri is the deep back. Deep drop for Rudock. Looking for Smith. He got covered up. So Rudock rolling and will throw it away. He is widely considered by this coaching staff to be one of the most intelligent players on this team. Spinning away is Damon Bullock for a first down. And he gets chopped down inside the 40 yard. Five in the pattern for Rudock, including his running back, Bullock. Throws low. For Greg Davis, their offensive coordinator. Third and three. Pressure coming from the left side of the line, so Bethard runs the game for the Hoosiers. And you're talking about a bunch of freshmen that are playing right now for India. Kanziri got grabbed by Bobby Richards against North Texas, but we've got to capitalize a little bit. Parker's in the game on third down for Bethard at the 40. That's another screen pass today. Third and nine. Indiana brings pressure. Bethard, an athletic quarterback, makes a move for a first down. Still on his feet to the 20. It's the give to Jonathan Parker and nowhere to go. Just ran into a pile. Can't do that. Now back to the 14-yard line. Iowa swings it out for Martin Manley with one man to beat in space. And a good open field tackle. Running right with Weissman. He's got Weissman's the lone back. Already a touchdown today. Play action back of the or in front of the goal line rather. Now they bring in the fullback Kenny in front of Weissman. Weissman, that second effort is enough for a third and 15. Rudock looking to throw again. Throwing the long speed out for Powell, and he does not have enough for the first down. John mentioned it earlier. Indiana has five takeaways all year. They need one right now. Try to stay in this game. Instead, Weissman with very shifty moves. Second and a long two. Weissman stumbling forward for a first down. And get through the back end of them. There's Weissman. Still on his feet. He'll bring up second down. Matt Schick has an important update from the studio. Expected him back coming off a foot injury. We're hearing some possibility that he may actually not play today. 
Back to Weissman for a first down for the Hawkeyes. Just churning away the yards. A run of four, run of seven, and a run of six to get him out to the 31-yard line for Weissman. The run at the end around with Tavon Smith. And he stepped out of bounds at the 37-yard line.